So uh, today Giacomo is going to um, talk about a project that you probably heard about before, uh, which is the our attempt to um, assemble knowledge about long non-coding RNAs. This is uh, based on the fact that we can do gene function prediction uh, using the ARCHES4 resource based on core expression. So in addition to making predictions for understudied coding genes, you realize that we can also do it for non-coding genes. And you've seen this before uh, by a presentation by Megan Wojciechowicz and Giacomo has taken over that project and made a lot of uh, improvements and enhancements. Giacomo is a bioinformatics software engineer that was recently joined us. Uh, he graduated from Brown University with a dual bachelor's degrees in computer science and in neuroscience and biology. All right, thank you for that introduction, Avi. Um, so I, I will be presenting on Link Hub 2, aggregated and inferred knowledge about human and mouse link RNAs. Uh, so to begin, we'll go over the workflow for the Link Hub 2 Appiter uh, and database. Um, so Link Hub 2 accepts either a human or mouse link RNA input and provides um, several pieces of information about it. Uh, first, we have a predicted secondary structure and uh, tissue cell type and cell line expression. And then additionally, use, utilizing the gene-gene correlation matrix, uh, we predict biological functions, uh, produce a gene co-expression network, um, predict L1000 small molecules and CRISPR knockout gene regulators, um, predict subcellular localization across cell types uh, for human link RNAs, uh, as well as, as look at link RNA, link RNA expression similarities uh, in a UMAP. Um, we sought to compare uh, our Link Hub 2 uh, to the various other resources available that provide information on link RNAs. Uh, so as you can see with the features that I just discussed, uh, we, we cover uh, pretty much all of the information that is provided uh, by these other resources, um, excluding variants, conservation, and methylations. But other than that, you can see that Link Hub 2 provides a market improvement uh, in the amount of um, information being provided on Link RNAs. Uh, Link Hub 2 is available um, as two interfaces. Uh, it was originally implemented as an Appiter, which is a lightweight bioinformatics application developed directly from Jupyter Notebooks and has a interactive um, input uh, template, which can be seen here on the right, wherein you can choose uh, your species of interest, either human or mouse, and then um, enter a valid gene symbol or ensemble ID, uh, which autocomplete will show if it is in um, the Link Hub 2 resource, uh, as well as this check mark. Um, and then we additionally uh, ran this apiter for all of the human and mouse link RNAs contained in Link Hub 2 uh, as to store them and provide instantaneous access to the results through the website, uh, which is available at myonlab.cloud slash Link Hub 2. Additionally, we added um, additional few additional features to the website. Uh, one of which includes uh, being able to search for link RNAs uh, by genomic coordinates. Um, and depending on which species uh, you have selected, it will suggest link RNAs found uh, in that range, uh, as seen here um, in the last image. Um, in order to predict secondary structures, uh, we used RNAfold uh, version 2.5 with the default settings. And we apply this to the cDNA sequence of the canopial transcript for each link RNA. Um, here's an example of what these images look like. And this is uh, the predicted secondary structure of uh, MALAT1. Uh, not all of the link RNAs in link up 2 have a predicted secondary structure. Um, and this is uh, for one of two reasons. Either the cDNA sequence uh, was not available or it exceeded the maximum length uh, that RNA fold will predict for. Uh, and these uh, predicted uh, secondary structures are only shown on the um, site implementation of Link Hub 2. 
Additionally, uh, we provide genomic coordinate and transcript sequence information uh, in the tabular format. Genomic coordinate information is sourced from GenCode, uh, version 41 for humans and version M30 uh, for mouse, uh, as well as conochial and alternative cDNA sequences, which are provided uh, from Ensemble. Uh, these tables are uh, searchable, sortable, and uh, downloadable as, as CSV files. Additionally, we show how uh, the link uh, RNA chosen has been studied uh, in literature over time. So here we, we show the amount of publications per year uh, through 2021. Um, this was uh, created using the PubMed API, wherein the uh, symbol uh, or the ensemble ID was searched for along with the terms link RNA or long non-coding RNA. The image can be downloaded as a PNG, SVG, PDF, uh, as well as the data, which um, comprises the figure, including the PubMed IDs and uh, the specific dates for each paper um, through the CSV format. So a large part of this project utilizes the gene-gene correlations from ARCHIS-4 to make predictions. Uh, for each search link RNA, these correlations are reported and available for download. Uh, in the similar tabular format to the genomic coordinates, wherein they can be searched um, and uh, downloaded with the CSV button. Uh, these were created uh, through taking 6,000 uh, samples from the ARCHIS-4 bulk RNA-seq samples, uh, removing gene, uh, genes with zero reads across all of the samples, uh, and this resulted in 62,548 genes. Um, these samples were then logged to transformed and quantile normalized. Um, so on the site in Aperture, we report the top positively correlated, uh, top negatively correlated genes, as well as the top positively correlated link RNAs uh, with the given link RNA. Additionally, utilizing these gene-gene correlations, uh, we produce an interactive network visualization of the top genes correlated with link, uh, the link RNA chosen. In this case, uh, this diagram is for hot air. Each node represents a gene and is colored by its chromosomal location, except for the uh, bright red node, which will depict uh, the, your chosen link RNA. So here's hot air. Uh, additionally, the edges um, in the diagram and their thickness represent um, the magnitude of their piercing correlation coefficients. The um, top positively and negatively, negatively correlated genes are also made available to submit directly to Enricher uh, from about 25 to uh, 500. Uh, so you can submit those directly for enrichment analysis. Um, we additionally provide a UMAP visualization to view expression similarities between uh, the link RNAs. Uh, so this was also uh, 3,000 randomly selected ARCHIS-4 samples that were again logged, uh, log and quantile normalized. Uh, these were applied to all 18,705 human link RNAs and 11,274 mouse link RNAs in Link Hub 2 to produce two UMAP plots. Uh, and these plots are colored by median expression uh, in a specified tissue cell type uh, or cell line. Um, so here in the bottom, we are looking at uh, MALAT1 uh, in PNS, which is where it is most highly expressed. Uh, in uh, tissues and cell types, and then uh, DLEU2, the mouse link RNA uh, in mammary, where it is most uh, highly expressed across tissues and cell types. Uh, the black arrow will point to the location of the uh, chosen or search for link RNA in the UMAP plot. And by default, they will be colored um, by the highest uh, median expression in tissue cell type, uh, and then an additional plot where uh, it was exp expressed most highly in cell line. So um, ARCHIS-4 samples that were labeled with a tissue cell type or cell line were extracted and only link RNA uh, counts were kept. And then expression statistics were calculated for tissues and cell types and cell lines with more than 20 uh, samples. Uh, so uh, through this method, we were able to provide robust um, tissue and cell type coverage for both human and mouse with 262 human tissues and cell types available, uh, as well as 57 human cell lines. 
and then 27 mouse tissues and cell types and 20 mouse cell lines. We also uh, decrease the threshold to 10 samples for mouse cell lines in order to increase the coverage. Um, since it's known that link RNAs often operate on genes uh, close to them, we assessed how much this gene correlation matrix uh, was affected by um, and the most correlated genes, non-coding genes, coding genes and, link RNA, and other link RNAs uh, were cis or trans. So we see that this rate did not significant did not differ significantly, except for coding genes, where the rate of these highly correlated coding genes uh, was slightly less. And additionally, for link RNAs, was slightly uh, was slightly more. Uh, but overall, uh, we saw that um, uh, genes were not being prior. Neither cis nor trans genes were being highly prioritized, uh, both across both mouse and human. Additionally, we sought to uh, benchmark their correlation matrix uh, for functional predictions utilizing the Phantom 6 uh, uh, data, uh, wherein they knocked uh, down 194 link RNAs and produced uh, function, functional predictions and uh, differentially expressed genes for 119 of them. Of this 119, 84 overlapped with the uh, link RNAs um, found in the ARCHIS-4 matrix, uh, and we utilized the process gene set library, which is available for download from Enricher, uh, to assess the significance of this overlap. So here we're looking at link RNAs where an overlap was found, and we use the Fisher exact test uh, with, the both, with both the top 200 positively and negatively correlated genes, where the overlap of positive correlations is shown in blue, and the overlap of negative correlations is shown in orange. Uh, so with the down gene sets uh, from the phantom six uh, knockouts, we see that there's a high significance with the positive correlations. This can indicate that the link RNA was working in conjunction with these genes as a unit, and it's knockdown uh, caused the down regulation of those genes. Additionally, we see with the up gene sets, um, large, larger significance with the negative correlations. Uh, which may be a result that the link RNAs uh, were regulating those genes uh, and caused um, uh, their regulation to increase uh, when they were knocked down. So overall, we don't see a significant overlap uh, for all of the link RNAs, but for a portion, about 10-15% of them, we do see a significant overlap uh, with both uh, the down and um, up gene sets that were experimentally ob observed in Phantom 6. We also sought to predict link RNA disease associations uh, using this gene gene co-expression. Um, so in this process, first, we downloaded the DISJNET gene set library from Enricher, which has gene sets uh, for various diseases. Uh, we then uh, calculated the mean piercing correlation coefficient uh, for all the human link RNAs per each disease and its gene set. And then we rank those link RNAs by negative mean pierce, piercing correlation and calculated the AUC uh, with the associated link RNAs from link RNA disease version 2.0. Uh, link RNA uh, disease provides experimentally validated link RNA disease associations. The amount of which for each disease is seen here on the far left in red. The green notes the size of the gene set from the DISJNET gene set library downloaded from Enricher. And then we can see by the AUCs that um, these uh, negative um, mean piercing correlation ranks were able to recover the associated um, link RNAs quite well uh, for a majority of the diseases. Um, to further assess uh, this, um, these diseases and the ranking of these negative mean piercing correlations, we looked at 10,000 randomly selected samples from the ARCHIS-4 matrix that were logged to and quantile normalized. We then extract calculated a median expression value for all the 18,705 uh, human link RNAs in link hub 2. And then we ordered them by their rank for each disease, with the right being uh, most negatively correlated and the left being most positively correlated. So as you can see for the, these diseases that performed well uh, in the previous figure, 
that uh, there was a higher expression of these negatively correlated um, link RNAs uh, as opposed to the diseases that uh, performed more poorly that had uh, high, that had um, the more positively correlated link RNAs uh, showing higher expression. We additionally provide functional annotations uh, for um, all of the human and mouse link RNAs uh, found in link hub two. So for each gene set library, biological terms are ranked by the right-tailed and left-tailed p-value for the mean Pearson correlations between the link RNA and each gene set. Uh, link hub two site displays the top 15 terms for each gene set library. Uh, and here in the uh, images on the bottom, Terms labeled with black asterisks are related to normal development, cell cycle, and cancer, which have been previously associated with hot air in literature. So these are just an annotation that we've added and are not providing the actual resource. Uh, here in the um, more orange and red uh, diagram, we're looking at the right-tailed p-values um, for KEG 2021 human and dysgenet. Uh, the color of these bars denotes the mean Pearson correlation and the size uh, or length of the bar is uh, correlated to the negative log 10 of the p-value. Um, on the right here in the blue, we see um, the left-tailed predictions for the MJI mammalian phenotype level 4, 2021, as well as Go Biological Processes 2021. Uh, and it is similarly um, ordered by the negative log 10 p-value and colored by the mean Pearson correlation. Uh, so in addition to these four libraries uh, and the right and left tail uh, predictions for each, we also provide um, predictions for CHIA 2022 and ENCODE CHIP Seek uh, uh, 2015. All of these gene set libraries are available for download from Enricher. Considering uh, that the um, location where link RNAs are transported um, is important in understanding how they function, uh, we sourced localization data from Link Atlas which provides this data for 6,768 gene code annotated link RNAs across 15 different cell types. An example of which is shown in the figure in the middle here, where they report a uh, cytoplasm nucleus relativic concentration index, which is calculated as the log fraction I in the cytoplasm uh, over the uh, fraction J in the nucleus. So a more positive value uh, indicates a localization towards the cytoplasm, and a more negative value indicates a localization closer to the nucleus. Uh, considering the coverage is only about a third of the human link RNAs in link hub 2, we decided to create predictions for the rest of the link RNAs uh, utilizing the um, gene-gene correlation matrix and the localization values present in uh, link atlas. So these predictions were made per cell type uh, utilizing unsupervised learning approach, wherein first we took a subset of the correlation matrix uh, that had uh, genes that were also referenced in Link Atlas and had localization values. This left about 40,000 genes, and these genes were ranked for each link RNA. Um, and uh, the, the rank um, times uh, the existing localization value um, for each rank gene uh, were summed, and these values were normalized between negative 0.5 and 0.5 to provide a, um, a diagram similar to the uh, link atlas uh, predicted or uh, relative concentration indices. So here we can see that the cell lines, uh, we had a different ability to predict the localization values per each cell line. And this is partially because each cell line had a different amount of genes for which it had localization information for as well as a different composition of those genes. Uh, in B, we can see that um, an example of a graph where the uh, link atlas information is being displayed, um, where we're looking at ZIST, uh, a um, link RNA known for uh, inactivation of the X chromosome. And we can see that uh, there's a consensus among four of these cell lines that is localized towards the nucleus. And then we're looking at, uh, on C at the predicted localization at T6, which is anti-sense gene to exist and does not have localization in uh, LNC atlas. 
We additionally provide L1000 predictions uh, for all of our link RNAs. Uh, these utilize process L1000 consensus signatures from Enricher, uh, which were created from SIGCOM links uh, by one of our coworkers, Sherry Shee. Um, we predict both chemical perturbations and CRISPR knockout genes uh, that will maximally up and down regulate, up or down regulate uh, the given link RNA. Uh, these consensus signatures are also available for download from Enricher. So I'll do a quick demo of the site. Um, so this is the website available at MyonCloud, um, myonlab.cloud slash linkhub2. Uh, and here, if we search uh, for hot air, for instance, we'll see that we're instantly presented with the results uh, with the genomic coordinates, uh, predicted a secondary structure, um, the mentions in literature over time, our correlations, um, the uh, interactive network visualization should be open in a new tab, um, enrichment analysis links to submit to Enricher, uh, our predictions, which are available uh, to download as CSVs, or uh, the figure as an image, either PNG, SVG, or PDF, um, the localization information from uh, Link Atlas in this case, um, tissue and cell type expression, as well as cell line expression. Our UMAPs uh, for which um, our given search for link RNA was most highly expressed and across tissues and cell types, and then across cell lines. And then finally, our L1000 predictions. And this report um, looks very similar for mouse. And if we select a mouse link RNA, um, you'll be provided with a very similar um, looking report. Uh, so finally, as an overview, LinkHub2 predicts uh, annotation, produces interactive gene-gene co-expression networks, and provides ranks for L1000 CRISPR knockout and chemical perturbations for 18,705 human and 11,274 mouse link RNAs. Most of these predictions are based on a global gene-gene co-expression correlation matrix from the newly aligned data from ARCHIS4. These same methods can be used to illuminate IDG targets, and this was done in the past um, with previous projects completed by our team, such as Harmonizome, GeneShot, and DrugShot. Additionally, PRISMX, uh, an algorithm that partitions the gene-gene co-expression matrix into context-specific matrices, uh, could be used in the future to improve predictions. So finally, I'd like to acknowledge everyone in the Mayan lab, particularly those who have contributed to this project, and especially uh, our past lab member, Megan Wojcikowicz, who originally uh, created and implemented this project, um, as well as the NIH uh, for their funding.